Hello, everybody. You are warmly welcome to the Elephant Zone. We are back with an exclusive and successful rescue mission of an elephant caught up with a deadly snare and found helpless with an encircling wire loop digging deeply into his front leg. The forest rangers have noticed this elephant several times, hovering around a river located near a dense forest. They noticed that the elephant was hobbling, and there was a deep wound in the lower part of his front right leg, with wire cinching the wounded area. They realized that this elephant has become a victim of a horrible wire snare set by the hunters for bushmeat hunting. They quickly informed the Wildlife Conservation Unit regarding the distressed animal. A team consisting of a veterinarian and rescue officers arrived at the spot, armed with all the necessary equipment and medicine. The team on the ground is busy preparing the anesthetic drugs so they can be ready to mobilize at a moment's notice. Another team of rangers is searching for the elephant, while the veterinarians, who are donating their time and expertise to save the life of the elephant, are standing by. The elephant has been placing his leg in the river to relieve the pain from his leg. The rescue officers spot the elephant in the middle of the river. They have to make the elephant come ashore. Otherwise, there's no other way to remove the cable wire from its leg. So they are going to dart the elephant. They get onto a boat carrying the tranquilizer gun filled with the sedative drugs. Keeping a safe distance from the distressed animal, they dart the elephant with the tranquilizer gun. The elephant panicked with the dart shot. He began to run out of the water. The elephant hobbled to the dense forest, with the team following the elephant. Finally, the elephant stopped in the middle of the forest. The elephant is now in a semi-unconscious state. The team is about to start a serious operation that will take a long time in duration. They have to remove the cable wire from the leg and then treat the wound. Therefore, they have to administer another shot of sedative drug to make the elephant immobilize. The sedative drug will help the elephant to overcome the excruciating pain that he has to endure while removing this cable. Before removing the snare, the veterinary surgeon decides it's best to administer the long-acting antibiotics and painkillers to the elephant, because it is important to prevent infection from the deep cut wound into the leg caused by the brutal trap. First, they put a wire loop on one of the elephant's legs to secure it in a steady position. Then after, they begin injecting the antibiotics. It is hard to reach the spot where the elephant stopped after sedation. With the dense cover of trees and vines, the operation is extremely difficult. The horrific snare tightly wrapped around the elephant's leg, digging deeply into the flesh. 
This shows how much damage can be done to an innocent animal with just one piece of wire. This type of snare is usually set by the hunters for the purpose of hunting smaller animals like wild boars. Usually, they are suspended from small trees to trap an animal by its neck as it passes. The creature will then panic, pulling the wire tighter around its throat, and as it struggles to break free, it asphyxiates and dies. While bigger animals like elephants are strong enough to detach the snare from the tree or branch it's anchored to, this process often results in the wire being pulled very tightly around their leg, causing painful constriction and infection. Although this elephant has detached himself from the anchor of the snare, the cable wire noose still remains in the ankle deeply embedded into the flesh. The encircling loop of wire tightly cuts into the leg, causing a restriction to the blood supply, and the deep cuts are prone to infection that can be fatal. If the elephant hadn't been noticed by the forest rangers, he would probably lose his leg or die with infection from the deep wound. It's devastating to see the dreadful damage these snares can do to such a big animal. It was a dangerous mission. It is extremely dangerous to try to reach such a big giant, especially when he's in pain. If the elephant regained consciousness before they finished the procedure, the elephant would surely attack the rescuers. But without thinking about their lives, the wildlife officers committed to help the poor elephant. They had to inject it several times, since large doses of antibiotic was needed according to the body weight of the elephant. After finishing the injections, they are now prepared to detach the remaining loop of cable from the leg. The wire piece is deeply embedded into the flesh. It is really hard to detach. The officer has to use really powerful wire cutters and strength to unwind the strong wire that the hunters used. After a tiring effort, he was able to remove the piece of wire cable snare from the leg. After removing the cable wire, they are going to treat the wound caused by the snare. The elephant's wound appears to be infected. First, the wound was cleaned with disinfecting agent. Here, you can see that the wound is being cleaned of the blood and pus from the deep cut in the leg of the elephant, which appears to be almost cut to the bone. Needless to say, this poor elephant must have been in a lot of pain. The wound was thoroughly cleaned. Providone iodine ointment was applied to the wounded area. 
The team is extremely happy that they could save the life of an innocent elephant, whose condition could have been fatal. They were able to remove the snare entirely and give him the required treatment. But this elephant also needs continuous medical supervision. They will constantly monitor the elephant, and they are going to continue the treatments until the elephant has a full recovery. We'll bring you an update soon. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon to be notified when a new video is uploaded.